favor and for his good hand in allowing us to undertake this expansion project. Also, personal, I want to personally acknowledge the sterling efforts of all who labored to make this building project, including the walls, driveway, landscaping, and reality. I'm going to ask the workmen, they're supposed to be somewhere around. Where are the workmen? Raise your hand. All the workmen that work on this building and this Raise your hand. I want to see all the workmen. Thank you so much. Yep. Yep. Right over here. Sit over the side here. I'm so glad that you, you accepted our invitation. So I'm an invitation before. Thank you very much for coming. God bless you. You know, I have lots of fun memories working with these men. Yeah. I don't want to start calling names, but it's a lot of joke on the work side. Some people get noted that they can't manage the work. But it's all in the nature of construction, eh? I also want to thank the Lord for the team leader, Brother Harold Grandstone. Yeah. You know, several other folk have worked behind the scenes. And some unnoticed, if you want to put it that way. Brother um, Kathnott, he arranged to have the plans drawn and work behind the scenes to ensure that they were passed. And Brother Kathnott, thank you very much. <laughs> Brother Andrew White and Brother Pine, I remember that that um, December, Friday in December, that we met for lunch to look at the overall vision. And let me tell you something, everybody was on board. And that's where it started. Brother Black preached about vision without vision, the people perish. And I tell you something, this is what. Uh, what the result of all that is. Our Father, we are here this evening in celebration of 30 years of your faithfulness to your person, your faithfulness to your promises, your faithfulness to your people, particularly the leaders and members of Emmanuel Baptist Church. We thank you for vision, for opening their eyes to what you have planned for this community. And we thank you in a very, very special way for your blessing on their lives, providing the resources to construct this new wing for the school. We beg you in the name of Jesus to sanctify it, to hallow it, set it apart for the building of lives that will be a blessing to this nation, but lives that will become involved in the building of the kingdom. We commit them to your grace and we thank you for everyone who has had a part in these developments. We beg you to give them a sense of worth, a sense of contribution, and we beg you to multiply your blessings in rewards. We pray that this fellowship would never ever reach a place where they forget where they're coming from and never lose sight of the possibilities before them. Widen their vision and be truly glorified through this ministry. We ask again, you'll bless this new wing. You'll bless everyone who will use it every child who will attend. Provide protection and blessing to each life. And even use this to touch the lives of those from whom, whose homes the children come. We ask these mercies as we wait upon you for even greater blessings in the days ahead. Bless and sanctify again, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Smith. And I invite um, Brother Andrew White, Chairman of the School Board, and Principal Ms. Adjoa Dawes to come under the honors to officially declare 
um, this section of the, um, the new schoolway opened by the symbolic cutting of the river. Do we do it in terms of account? Yeah. All right, everybody in position? They're arguing about which side to cut. <laughs> All right. This is this is a. Where are the cameras? They're they're lined up. Yes, sir. Okay, we're gonna talk after three. One, two, three. Amen. I'm gonna ask this door. So just open this door and turn on the light on the inside of this this um classroom. This started nearly 50 years ago. This September, September, from the next 